Good day everyone and welcome to Excel News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on part of Excel. And the first news this week has been the fact that stackable fossils were coming and this got many people excited. So basically fossils uh, could stack, common ones could stack up to 20, valuable ones could stack up to 10, pretty much like chaos orbs or, or um, normal like transmutation alteration orbs. and. Uh, if you put them in the wildcard slots in the currency stash tab, they would stack up to 5,000, which is pretty good, except that the wildcard slots of the currency tab are generally used for much uh, different type of items, for example, splinters, or uh, in this case, legion splinters, or Arbinger shards, which there are a lot of, and they still haven't been added to the core game for whatever reason, I still don't know. But anyway, we also got a community showcase with some nice fan arts over here, especially this doctor here. And if you like fan arts, uh, definitely check this, this news out. Uh, obviously, I'll put the link in the description below, and you can scroll down, there's more artworks as well. And then, one day before the actual patch, we got the patch notes, so fossil stacking, of course. Then the amount of rage you have being displayed uh, above the mana as a numerical value, which is pretty good. I think it, it works really well. And hopefully uh, they remove that orid uh, bar that is the rage bar uh, next to the mana. But don't know, I don't play a rage character this time, so I'm not sure if that happened or not. Also, uh, exclamation marks above NPCs can now be seen on the minimap. And this is such a basic feature, if you think about it, that it's crazy to think that it hasn't been added up until now. This is one of the things that should have been in the game like since the start. But, well, it now is, and this should definitely help newer players, along with uh, older players, in finding quests uh, when they go to the city so they don't have to walk to every single NPC every time. Uh, until you actually know the game and you know that you don't even have to talk to NPCs uh, until you actually complete their quests. So this is definitely a very good quality of life uh, feature. Other than that, uh, when GGG actually deployed a 3.7.4 patch, there was an incident. So basically, I'll cut it short, but if you want to read it, there's a full story here. Uh, basically, when they patched the realm, the Korean users could not log in into their own account and they were presented with the create new account dialog. So what GG did was a very quick rollback to the previous patch while um, creating a fix for this uh, new thing. However, uh, that caused a problem with fossils because people had stuck the fossil with the new patch but the previous patch didn't. So basically all of the fossils were lost in the process. And this was a pretty big problem. So what happened is GGG actually did a full point in time rollback and uh, basically people lost about 29 minutes of gameplay and then the realm was up like two hours later after um, putting it down for the first patch. So, I mean, I don't feel this is such a great uh, problem or such a great loss. However, from GGG's point of view, it was a big problem and uh, this is actually Jonathan coming at us and saying what were all of the problems. There are, were actually at least three layers of problems and uh, saying that GGG will actually be much more aware of these things in the next patches and they will uh, try to make it better because GGG always wants to make things perfect and that's why we like them. We also like them because they come at us and they tell us what happened truly in uh, during those during all those incidents so we actually know what was going on and um, well i mean feels good even though there was a problem they fixed it and it feels good to know what happened and the fact that they are kind of open with the community and that's what uh, always made gg one of the best companies gaming company in the world and also we got a couple of highlights from the video making competition I'm gonna be honest, these highlights don't feel that good. I mean, they are good, but not as good as I would, expect, would have expected from a challenge competition. Although I've just seen one on Reddit that's pretty fucking amazing. So I'm sure there are um, very good videos and I'm sure they might be coming since uh, there's still a couple days, like a week. 
before the challenge end so you still have time to make a video and there's still time for people to actually throw out their own video and I'm sure some awesome ones will be coming um, in the last few days and also we got yesterday actually the Zizran Exile Con qualifier event which was an Aziri kill race pretty much that went on and was completed so if you participated uh, congrats to you if you didn't well you can check all of the VODs definitely on the most famous streamers also you can check uh, Ziggy VOD who's been commenting along with other people so there are VODs around even though uh, you might have a bit of a problem to find them because Twitch uh, doesn't really like those VODs but still uh, the race was over congrats to the winners and uh, we can wait now for the next race which will decide the next uh, player that will go to the Exilecon qualifier which will, which will be the race the, the last race at Exilecon which is actually happening on November so it's pretty close it's actually pretty close if you think about it and that's gonna be really really interesting but yeah other than that that was all for this week so if you enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment down below also if you want to remain updated every week be sure to subscribe to my channel that was all, I've been your host Orzo, and I'll see you guys the next time.